Welcome back, yeah, Leia. So I uh, basically was testing Anadrakens for the n in the new 1.9 snapshots, and I found out that Anadrakens want to go to the uh, 0, .0, .0, 0 0.0.0 coordinates, so it's right underneath, right there. But I found out some really interesting stuff. Although the Anadrakens are all up here and sometimes right there, you might see it that the world is just uh, disappearing. It's one dragon always going downwards to that spot but these blocks are disappearing without any dragons even being close to there so that's a weird thing and this w complete hole came up in that way it just looks like there are some invisible ender dragons but they are not there are no invisible ender dragons I can promise you that it looks really weird and that was an ender dragon that's for sure it those holes are made by ender dragons. They are this size, I know that, but these just don't make sense. They are completely random, seem to be, and they are square holes, as you can see. Really weird, I cannot put my finger on it. I have no idea what's really happening. I think it's the ender dragon, so let's kill all entities name uh, radius is a hundred radius minimum is one so let's hope I'm not killing myself That's, that worked let's see if it's still working I don't see stuff disappearing so apparently the ender dragons that flew up in the sky there are more right there, but they're not wo loaded, so let's load them on. Come here. Get to the spot. <laughs> He's just diving in the floor. <laughs> I really like that. He's going to that 0, .0 .0 coordinate where I was talking about. It's just ruining my world. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's a test world. This makes more sense back here there was just blocks disappearing as you can uh, as you can as you as you saw but what the happened there <laughs> they flew up in the sky I have to rewatch the video to see what happened there I really want to know um, but if you summon an ender dragon it used to be that they destroyed whenever you were wherever you spawned it and wherever you were but now they seem to float into this direction so let's say if I'm going uh, let's say 500 blocks this way and do some up due to the fact I'm on the ground and I'm still on the ground so let's try to get up another one yeah I give myself a command block. Command block. Uh, and let's summon Ender Dragon. Let's say um, 20 above this command block. I do not know how the loops works in 1.8 yet. I really have to figure it out, it doesn't quite matter. I'll still use this. Still works in 1.8. Uh, if I can do this. It should work! Why doesn't it work? Why doesn't you work? Uh, Needs redstone. No idea why. Let's just do it. They enable to summon object. Oh wait, I didn't spell it right, I think. Yeah, I didn't spell it right, that's the problem. Ender Dragon. Yeah, that. So if I spawn up a whole bunch of ender dragons, you see them all floating to one coordinate, to one side. Really f f weird to see. Oh, let's turn it up and fly with them. 
So apparently they all want to, due to the fact they want well, in 1.9 gen chains, they all want to go to that one single spot. They think they are in the end, but they are not in the, I don't want to go to language, what I'm doing. So they all want to, <laughs> oh, they are already descending some. That's cool to see them, them all. Yeah. Let's fly into the cave. Let's anyway. Let's get back to the to the zero dot zero dot zero spot when I want to go. And as you can see, I'm having bad lag spike due to the rendering ring issue and the lot of and lots of Ender Dragon breaking too much stones around here. There it is. Well, I wanted to show you that the blocks were disappearing, and I did that. So.